What's up everybody? Sorry for the smaller video. I uh, stepped on the iPad that I usually record on for my widescreen mode. Completely cracked it because I'm far too fat. And uh, so now I'm recording on my PC, which honestly is not that good. It's pretty sad when the PC I use uh, doesn't, doesn't work as nicely as a cheap iPad. But after Christmas I'll be getting it fixed so we can go back to higher quality videos. All right, so today I'm going over the Christmas event. There are a lot of things going on right now. So first and foremost, logging in and getting your free draws. There's the New Year's Eve, Noblesse Oblige, where you log in and you get Fairy Hellroom for free. Not to mention you get a bunch of free draws. Now you could continue the step up, but honestly, with one guaranteed SSR and a new hero guaranteed, I'm not really gonna sink any more diamonds into this. Uh, I already pulled like a madman on this banner. I got Garad and Ludo CL, so I'm just going to chill and build up. And I may spend four diamonds to get this last bit of equipment. It's not that good, but it could be good. The ring I got from this was actually a max stat ring, and so all I have to do is change a couple of the enchants on it, and uh, or a couple of the bonus stats, and I'm good. So yeah, I'm going to be pretty much holding on to my gems maybe spend those four or I'll spend six on two draws uh, and call it a day alright so new things new boss five times a day you can challenge the demon soldier Malik who is designed by the original artist for seven deadly sins so even though it's not a hero or character that you see in the regular series you do get to see him here challenge him five times uh, per day you have a challenge clear all the way up to 25 with the reward being uh, super awakening coins I think that says yeah three super awakening coins there's also some diamonds some gold and some SSR pendants the exchange shop as well you can get Captain Hawk two of those from here uh, if you didn't max out Captain Hawk during the last event or if you don't have them this is a good way to pick them up I've already maxed out his ulti, so for me, this is extra coins, which I'm going to feed straight into Super Awakenings, so that's pretty dope. Uh, full Awakening, Tokening, or Token, not Tokening, <laughs> then a Part 2 SSR ticket. The Hero Suit is back, um, but I already own it, so I think what I get since I own it is three of these cloths for 20 of these swords, which really isn't worth it so I'm probably not gonna touch that all the decorations those are the first things that I usually buy because I like the bonus stats in the tavern uh, let's see then your typical growth materials for evolution awakening and what have you and then anvils which I'm definitely gonna need treasure chests awakening stones hammers of visal yeah I need pretty much all that because I'm going through my gear like crazy right now so I will be <clears throat> running five of these I'm on extreme I can't do hell so I'll just take extreme for now five a day and cash in all of those so that is running hold on one second that is running until the 5th of January so you have quite a few days to get that done so you should be able to get all the rewards if you're grinding Let's head back to the shop. One thing I've noticed, uh, which was a little weird, this Christmas tree here, there's a gift under it each day. You see this little icon hiding here. So if we click on this bad boy, I grab my gift for today, but it resets each day. So make sure you're grabbing that gift. You uh, get a different one each day. Uh, today was one of the uh, decoration items. So if the only way to get it is through there, you better make sure you're getting that. Continuing on with the event, we still have the goddess storage supply, which I finished. You get those by doing free stages, but those are capped. And you still have seven days left to finish it, but I'm already done. Because I grind out free stages every day for equipment. The influencer tournament is still going. There's the exchange shop. Newly introduced is bingo. You get these bingo things by going through your uh, Fort Silverus. You get bingo, you, the regular bingo event style, so you can draw numbers if you have these tickets, and then you have select specific numbers with these tickets. 
I don't like that they changed this up because this was a different bingo thing earlier today, which disappoints me. I wonder, hold on, if I leave and go back, does the board change? Because it was a really nice one with Deanne, but this is not a really nice one. So I don't know what happened to that, but oh well. We still have the time attack going on, so each day they give you a mission to complete. Today's was use 20 anvils. I used 20 anvils while trying to re-roll the bonus stats in my equipment, and then I got those 20 anvils back. So that just gives me an opportunity to use the resources I have without actual any loss, because I just get gifted them right back. And then on top of that, we have the growth event. This one is not for SSR pendants, which is kind of stinky, but whatever. It's gold. It's the uh, water of life. It's fine. Eh. I would have liked to see SSR pendants, but honestly, this event is so stacked and so overlapped that I'm not even worried about it whatsoever. All right, so that's a quick rundown of Christmas. The big thing, of course, don't forget those Christmas gifts each day. Don't forget the support uh, when you log in. Let me see how many you actually get. Let's see. It's the celebration one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you get 14 poles, which is nice. So you get the step up draw, 14 poles for free. It's actually quite a lot. So you'll be able to go around the thing twice. So that means with the 14 free, you're going to be spending 140. No, I'm sorry. 100 and. Jesus, I'm doing math for too long. This is the problem with being a teacher. So it's 30 diamonds each time. 300. 120. 420. Oh, but it's not diamonds. It's counts. Okay, so you get 11 per ticket. So. 11 times 14, 140, 151. So you get up to, yeah, you'll get all of these. So you get these stats for free. You get a Hellbrim. You may get a an additional Hellbrim on the next time around. I'm not sure, but you are guaranteed at least a double SSR as well as a single Hellbrim and these up here just for logging in each day. So make sure you're logging in, grabbing those, grabbing your daily presence and running through those daily clears of Malik. All right, so this has been a quick rundown of the event. Hopefully I'll be back to having my iPad fixed so that we have higher quality videos. Sorry for that in the meantime. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.